You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Worldly Wisdom versus Godly Wisdom. Scientists have discovered a way to jam a part of the human brain related to wisdom. In the experiments, people were exposed to a social situation that they would normally consider unfair. While a part of their prefrontal cortex was jammed by a purportedly harmless pulse of electromagnetic energy, people were unable to act in response to the unfair situation. Any volunteers? William Shakespeare once wrote, The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. This rings similarly to Paul's advice. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. 1 Corinthians 3.18 It is true that we in ourselves have no wisdom. All the education and philosophy in the world can't give it to us. Because of our fallen nature, wisdom has to come from outside ourselves. The world's concept of wisdom is very different from God's view. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. 1 Corinthians 3.19 The world wants wisdom without God, but it doesn't exist. The wisdom that comes from God is a treasure worth finding. How much better to get wisdom than gold? Proverbs 16.16 Godly wisdom will guide us in every aspect of our existence and help us to understand the Bible and God's will for our lives. All we need to do is ask Him for it. Our key Bible text for today comes from Proverbs 9, verses 9-12. through Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.